Hi friends, this is Rakesh and today we are going to solve for the stresses that are present in the bolt and tube assembly using ANSYS Classic, right? So I will be just reading about the problem uh, which we are going to solve today. So the problem is a steel bolt has been inserted into a tube which has an inner dia of 20 mm and an outer dia of 40 mm. The bolt diameter, external diameter of the bolt is also 20 mm. The pitch of the threads on the bolt is 3 mm, right? So, <coughs> if the nut is tightened by a one fourth of a turn after it was tightened by hand, so first of all, we have to determine the stresses that are present inside the tube and bolt. Then again, in the second case, an additional tensile load of 10 kN has been applied has been applied to the bolt. So we have to compute the resultant stresses that are present inside the bolt and the tube due to the uh, turning one fourth of a turn and also the tensile load right so here uh, we assume the e value of the bolt to be 200 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square and e Young's modulus of the tube to be 100 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square right and here if you see the length of the tube is 0 0.7 meter for this first of all you just open ANSYS classic then go for preferences and then select structure press ok now go for preprocessor and go to the element type and just say add edit or delete and go for add and go for link and select 3d finite strain 180 that is nothing but link 180 element and if you want to de if you want details about this link 180 element you can go for the ANSYS help right and go for the go for the ANSYS help topics and go for the elemental reference and you can see about the link 180 right so element so this link 180 element in general is a uniaxial tension compression element which has three degrees of freedom at each nodes and it only contains translational degrees of freedom no rotational degrees of freedom right and other uh, input and output parameters and everything information about this you can find it from the elemental reference from the ANSYS help right then I, again here because this is a 1D problem we are solving it through 1D we have to insert the area through real constants right so we have two types of areas right one for the bolt and another one for the tube so we will select one as a tube two as the bolt right so I will go for the real constants say add edit or delete say add say ok and I will put the cross sectional area which I have calculated to the formula right that is nothing but uh, 94.2 e minus 5 right press ok then we have to create another set of constants for the bolt so I will again say add and I will select this element say ok and I will give the area which is nothing but 314.16 e minus 6 say ok right and say close now we have to give the material properties so I will go to material properties say add material models then go for structural say linear elastic isotropic and give the Young's modulus as I told you the reference one number is for the tube so I am adding 100 into 100 e nine hundred e9 and we will put the poison ratio as 0 
right press ok now again we have to add a material for the steel so for that what I will do is I will go for the material say new model and default I will not change the default material ID press ok and it is again structural linear elastic and isotropic material so I will click on the isotropic material and enter 200 E 9 and press 0 for poison ratio and say ok right so I will go to material say exit then we are going to create four nodes and two elements for that I will go for the modeling say create say go to nodes and I will select in active coordinate system and because the first node will be created at 0 0 0 automatically I say apply then my second node should be at a distance of 0 0.7 uh, meters so I will say apply then my third node will be at a distance of 0 0.1 in the y direction right say apply and then this is 0 0.7 say ok right so after creating the nodes we have to create the elements right so for that I will go for the elements and first of all what I will do is here you see the element that I am going to create between this one and two nodes represent the element body for the tube and the element which I am going to create between this uh, 3 and 4 nodes will represent the bolt will represent the bolt so we have to check either the elemental attributes that we are with which we are creating the elements are right or wrong by default the elemental attributes will be referred to 1 so I will press ok then I will go for auto numbered and say through nodes and I will select first and second nodes and say ok so we have created one element with the attributes of element type that is set to link 180 and the material number to 1 that means the material properties that we have specified with the id 1 will be applied to this and then real constant set number 1 say ok then now I have to change the attributes before I am going to create the second element so we will set because this is the element is the default one so we will leave it off like this and we will put 2 select 2 in material number as well as the real constant set and press ok and then now we are going to create another one say auto number through nodes and select 3 and 4 right so we have created all the uh, two elements now what we have to do we have to apply forces on it so for that go for loads say define loads go to set apply go to structural and go for displacement and select on nodes right and you select this one and three nodes press ok and here we are going to fix all the degrees of freedom that is why I have selected all DOF and press ok right and you can see the symbols that have appeared here right showing that the degrees of freedom have been constrained here then what we have to apply here we have to apply a constraining equation so for that because when you are tightening the nut that is that has been placed into the tube what happens is the tube will be undergoing compression right as well as this bolt will be experiencing that tension at the same time so we have to simulate that for that we are going to place what is known as a constraint equation right for that go for this coupling or constraint equation and select this constraint equation here what happens is this will be in the compression and this will be in the tension right and this is equal to 1 by 4th of the 3 mm which is gives the 0.75 mm so we got this because in the problem specification we have given the pitch is 3 mm for the bolt and 3 mm for the bolt and this 1 by 4 into 3 mm is and the problem is saying that we have to calculate the stresses when we turn 1 4th of the 
turn one fourth of the turn for that I have to go for and enter this point seven five e3 right point seven five e minus three right e minus three and it is in the x direction and I will go with the coefficient one in this is a x direction and the this the node number is four and here the node number is two and this will be in a compression so I will give minus one and say okay right we have applied a constant equation now so what I have to do is I have to now solve the problem go for solve say solve current load step and say okay and close so before we want to see the result we have to go for the pre-processing and say element table and define a table and say add here I will give the label stress so that I can identify when I am plotting the element table and here I will select it by the sequence number and I will select this ls and place 1 type 1 and say ok right and say close now just say list element table select the stresses say ok so these are the stresses that we are going to see in the element 1 and element 2 so element 1 means it represents the tube and from the calculations also or from theoretical calculations also we got the same answers right and now for the second case what we have to do is in addition to this coupling equation we have to give a tension load to the boat that is element number 2 for that again go for the solution say define loads say apply and go to structural uh, go to force and say on node and you select this node 4 and say ok it is in the fx direction and the load is 10 e 3 right this is 10 e 3 and say ok right so we you can see that we have applied this load as well now what I have to do is go to solution say solve right current load step say ok and we got the solution right and then go for the general processing and go for the element table define element table you need not to put another table data you can just update it so that it becomes the status becomes the current and say close and just say list element table select stresses and press ok and these are the values right here minus means compression and positive means tension so this is how we can solve it right we can solve for that problem thank you